day. Hey, his mafia accent is fantastic. All right, this is our first time watching Richard Pryor. We're checking out his mafia skit. Let's get into it. I worked at a mafia nightclub uh, in Youngstown, Ohio. I was 19. I was 19 years old, right? And I didn't know shit about the mafia. Uh, my father was the baddest motherfucker I'd ever seen. Aww. <laughs> so the mafia didn't mean shit to me. This voice sounds I did good. not relate to the mafia. <laughs> Right. And I worked with this lady, Satin Doll. She was the star of the show. Beautiful black stripper, right? Because usually in those days, they had like, in, in clubs, they had a, a singer and a stripper and an MC. I was the MC. And she was the first black star I ever met. Satin Doll. Yeah, I was, because Duke Ellington had written a tune about her. You know, that's what she used to dance to and act. She was beautiful. She was 60 then. <laughs> Oh, this bitch was fine, though, man. Oh. I'm not lying. Lena Horne didn't have shit on her. And she was crying backstage, you know. I got to get to Buffalo. They won't pay me. I said, who won't pay you? Club owners won't. I said, oh, them motherfuckers going to pay me. <laughs> bet, bet. <laughs> and I, now, this is how ignorant I was. I had a cap pistol. You know them blank starter pistols? I busted into the office with this motherfucker in my All right, give me the money, motherfucker. Oh. Doing my best black shit, you know. You know that shit usually scare Whitey to death. <laughs> and these motherfuckers didn't do nothing. And I'm sure that those men are sitting in that room today laughing. Cause that's what this dude, he just started laughing. <laughs> this fucking kid. Ah. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, Tony, come here. Wait a minute, Rich, do the gun again. Hey, Tony, come here. Stick up. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking kid, come here. Come here, you fucking kid. Oh, He's wow. got a pack of gooseys on him, huh? Fucking kid, come here, goddamn. They like to hug you and rub you. Come here, fuck. <laughs> and grab your face. You got them. Well, no, no, sitting there. Huh? This fucking kid got some good hey, my mom. This accent is. And they always say great, shit you don't understand. You know, like, hey, you want a little cuisine, but only. Hey, Paolo, fix him a little bit on the side of here. Put some strunzi on. Huh? Fry it up. They like fried foods. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, his mafia accent is fantastic. Do you think this is a real story? Uh, no. Definitely, he's a comedian. Right, but I mean, maybe he, this was his perception of like what actually happened. But did he actually take a gun in there and like try to threaten him to pay this girl? He's a comedian. Don't ruin it. Would you put it past the guy <laughs> if he really wants a chick? I'm not with it, but not to a mafia. Come on, up. he didn't know there a was mafia, mafia person. <laughs> it's tripping me out because I feel like I've heard this voice, but I've never seen this voice. And I feel like I'm watching Wait, someone. Wait, which voice? A mafia voice? No, or... his his own voice. I feel like I'm watching someone use someone else's voice. I know someone who sounds oh. just like this. I can't put my finger on it. It's probably it's tripping you were me a kid. Out. He was. It was like playing in another room, and so you like heard the voice. I don't know. Like it's like in the it's so echoes trippy. of your childhood. Oh, it's weird. <laughs> Fry it up. They like fried foods. <laughs> <laughs> fucking get! I come in here. They come in here. Had a gun. They fucking get! Huh? New Japan in my gut! Huh? Pay everybody off. Pay them off. It's all right. They're going to have time. They paid everybody off, let everybody go, and kept me. <laughs> like a pet. <laughs> I fucking like this. You're this fucking animal. Don't zoom do. You got family? Well, you got family now. I'm an Ogazananin. Who is it? Carmine. Tell him I call him back. Tell him it's a stick up. Ah! Oh! <laughs> And these motherfuckers start telling murder stories. Hey, you remember when Guzzi, hey, you remember when I made my fucking bones? Ah, me, I had to go away. It was Cleveland, right? Fucking Teamster. Big mouth hurt a lot of people, right? You know, ice picks my thing, Rich. So we fucking had to drive down. Me, Johnny Salami. Salami. The Gabuzo brothers. They're on the funeral parlor. You carry, we bury. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 come here, you fucking kid. So we take this jerk off our bowling, you know, drive him around, get him a few drinks. Say, hey, let's get some bras, right? 
little motel we had set up. Remember the Johnny? So we take him around. He gets kind of stoned, drops his glass. I say, now, nah. I pop him with the fucking ice pick, right? Oh. I'm popping this cocksucker blood, squirting every which way. I'm stabbing. He's, oh, God, don't kill me. Oh, fuck you, you guinea cocksucker. And the fucking ice pick breaks. Ah! Oh. I'm standing there with a fucking piece of wood in my hand. I said, Johnny Salami, what do I do? Oh. Johnny says, wait till it melts, asshole. Oh. Those were the good old days. Uh, what's the matter, Rich? You don't look so good. <laughs> hey, it's Pilo. Give me a little Sinini for all. You got a way home? You want us to give you a ride? Ah! <laughs> I wonder if it would really be like that. Like, if you ran into some mafia people and, like, you're trying to act tough, but they could tell you weren't really that tough, would they really be like, you know, you got family and, like, hugging It and is stuff? possible. Right? They see Or it, they could like... just dispose of you if they right? wanted to. It's whatever they want to do. Right? I wonder, like, uh, I wonder, like, what he did after that. You know? <laughs> like, did he go back to the girl and say, like, yeah, I couldn't get your money? No, they said they paid everyone. Except, like, they wouldn't let him they go. They paid everyone and kept him. Oh, snap. Oh. You got the money. Teach him a lesson. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That reminds me of The Godfather. Like, I feel, I, have, I don't remember the movie that much, but my dad used to watch The Godfather, and I feel like they just didn't, it was a different level of, like, gangster. Yeah, I've never seen it. <laughs> oh. Scarface. Oh, we gotta watch it. It's long. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. Where to go? She told me, boy, you to go. Like I don't know. But I don't.